and Gareth's parents, Ellen and Ian Williams, arrive with their daughter, Kerry Tubby, and her husband, Dr Chris Tubby. All morning, the police officer leading the investigation into Gareth Williams' unexplained death, Detective Chief Inspector Jackie Subir, was questioned by the coroner and barristers. For the first time, new CCTV footage showing Mr Williams shopping on the 15th of August 2010 was shown in court. He was captured on video near several central London stores like Harrods and Waitrose. The family sat together watching these images. But then, before a revealing police film called A Scene Video was shown, Gareth's mother, Ellen Williams, stood up and quickly walked out of the room. She didn't want to see what this film would eventually reveal, her son's bathroom on the top floor of 36 Alderney Street. A police video was filmed on the same evening that Mr Williams' body was found. The Metropolitan Police have released these pictures despite the family barrister, Anthony O'Toole, requesting on behalf of the Williams family that the footage should not be broadcast. And other police computer-generated graphics were also shown in court. They lead into the house, 36 Alderney Street, leading up the stairs to Gareth Williams' bedroom and his living area, and also into the ensuite bathroom, where the large red holdall containing his body was found. Much of the evidence also focused on the Yale padlock, which could be snapped shut without a key, and according to DCI Jackie Sabir, her initial assessment was that a third party may have been present when Gareth Williams was inside the bag. But the most significant evidence given today focused on the padlock keys, which were beneath his body inside the holdall bag. And DNA evidence that isn't related to Gareth Williams has been found on the sip and the fabric fastener near the padlock on the outside of the bag. Also appearing in the coroner's court today, Sean Jones, a close friend from Anglesey and a childhood sweetheart of Gareth's. She said they'd remain close, and when asked by the coroner, she said she didn't believe the women's clothes found in the flat and the shoes were bought for Gareth himself to wear. She said she believed they could be gifts for her and his sister.